Welcome back everyone, my name is Jack and it's been a while since I've published a video but we're going to jump into Cross Set. I thought we'd start with a nice easy little puzzle game that we can check it out together and I'll hopefully be publishing more videos over the coming weeks. I've had a really busy past month or two, I've moved house, I ran a work conference for a whole week, I am shattered. But what is Cross Set? Let's dig straight into it. Cross Set is a little puzzle game that's probably closest to Sudoku and if you know what Sudoku is you'll get it pretty quickly. Uh, I'll explain uh, the first level and then we'll jump into some levels I haven't seen. Uh, the how to play is just explain at the bottom there, that's it. All you're going to do is make every row column consist of 1, 2, 3, 4. Now it's the bigger numbers on the left here. Now with Sudoku you can choose where any of the numbers go, but in this case here they're set. So this one here can be a 1 or a 3 and I can rotate them. Uh, and if I want to I can right click to fix it until so I can't change it. So in the middle here, there's already numbers that are fixed in place. So I see there's one and two here. I know that it can't be a two here, so this must be a four. So that must be the three. Uh, going along this line here, well, there's both twos, but that can't be a four, so that one must be one. You're probably getting the idea now, hopefully. Uh, these are all right. That should be... Okay, all the rest is all sorted. We have done it. Cool. Uh, let's get back to the main menu, because I've done the second level. I was about to say, wait, well, it's the second level, but these are sets of levels. Uh, we're going to jump into number three. It looks like I can jump into any of them. So, we're actually going to 5x5, five five, and I haven't done this before. And uh, I presume this is not 1 in 35, it's 1, 3, or 5. Okay, so now it's 1 to 5 on every row. Uh, that makes sense. So, looking at these columns, so we've got a 5, a 5, and a 4. Well, I know that this one can't be a 4, because otherwise there'd be two 4s in a row. So that must be a 2. Uh, going down this road here... That can't be a four, so it can either be a five and a three. That has to be a three. So in this case here, that one has to be a one, and that one has to be a five. Okay, cool. So I've got that one sorted. And you can see how this game is, you just got to figure out the way to unlock it. And kind of like Sudoku, you might go, oh, it could be one of these two ways. You got to try it to see if it follows through the whole way. Uh, looks like we've got enough here on this right column that we should be able to figure the rest out. So let's look at this one here. Can't be any fives, can't be any threes. So it can't be fives or threes, so that must be a two. It can't be five, three, or two. It can either be a one or a four. And these can both be a one or a four. So we'll leave both of them for the moment. Now let's come up to here. So there can't be any twos. So that must be a one. And that must be a three, which means that one must be a four. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. So if that one's a... Th what is the four and two down here, which are the... No, is it four and one? Okay, four and one. So neither of those have helped us that top row. So let's try and do this one here. Because the more locks, like the more fixed or the known numbers. So that's what the red ones are for me. I could have done it wrong. But the more known numbers we have, uh, the better chance we've got at figuring out other rows. Like if I tried to do this one. Well, actually all of them are pretty good. But if I was trying to do this left one without doing anything else, it would have been very difficult. There's a four here. I, I can tell I'm very excited about playing games again and recording again. Because I'm talking very very fast i'll try and slow down one to two so one and a five so there's no twos the twos are down that row so this could be a three there's a two down here hmm let's try another row this one here so if this has got one three and five it can't be a one because the one's already on this row and it could be a three or a five Okay, I wish you could like knock out a particular number. Oh wait, if this can't be a f there has to be a one because it can't be a four. Okay, cool, that helps us. And this can either be a five or a three. And this could either be a five and a three and neither of those help us again. But this bottom one should be a bit easier. There's a one there, that's gotta be two. And if that's gotta be two and that's gotta be three. Hmm. This could be a four, or it could be either. We'll have to leave it, we'll come back. Uh, looking over here, so you've got one, two, so it's either two or three, and either of these, either of these can be switched around. Uh, and none of them help us because it's one, two, five. Okay, gotta keep looking. I probably should be looking for the numbers like this, where there's only two possibilities. It'd probably be easy to figure out. So there's a five and a three here. But we know that both of those can't be switched. But then can't be a five here. But it's gonna be a two or a three here. There can't be a two down here. Because the two's already here. 
And there can't be a two, so the two must be this one, which means that this, wait, one, two, so that must be three, and that must be four. Okay, I think I've done that right. If that one's a four, what do, what could I figure out because of that? One, two, three, four, five? Or is it the other way around? Is it that way? It might be that way. One, two, three... Could be a five there. Okay. Bottom row again. Oh, one, two, three, four. Okay. I should look for those shapes where there's already four red. This one here, there has to be a one, and there's got to be a four as well. Both of those are possible. We've got, so we need to have one, two, three in here. Something like that. There also needs to be one here. One, two, three, four. Hmm. <laughs> One, two, there's two threes in this column. Okay. There's two fours, so one, two, one, two, three. Oh, oh, we've got ourselves in a little pickle. It's hard to know if there's something wrong. The cool thing is I can back out and start again, and especially I can do a different level. So either of these are going to be one. Man, this got difficult. Quick. One, two. So there's one, four on this row. Actually, should I look at the columns for a while? That's not going to help, is it? <laughs> one and four. Uh, so this this one here. It can't be the four. Because four is here. It could be the three or the five. But if this is three then that can't be three, so that one's going to be three. So that it's kind of got this grid here. But this can't be three because there's a three there. So it's got to be five, which means this one's got to be three, which means this one's five, that one's got to be three. That's got to be right, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five. One, two... Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. That is not working out. One, two, three, four, five... One, two, so I think that one needs to be there, and that one needs to be there, which means these are the other way around. And if it's that way, then what's wrong? So it's got one, two, three, four. I wish there was like a little green symbol which showed me when our row's done, that'd be real easy. So now there's no one on this row. There's two threes. Maybe this, maybe one of the ones that I've made red isn't actually right. Like, I know that one's red because it has to be a five. Let, let's start back. So those are all the knowns. The five, five, and the four. And so I know that one has to be a two. And that one there has to be a three. And then I have these other two. If that was a two and a four, five and that one had to be a one and that one had to be a three which just meant this one had to be a four if a four was here and eliminate any fours on that row which means that's a one if there's a three here and eliminate any threes there's a five here eliminate any single fives one okay so there's a four just making my way through oh we're gonna we're gonna do this one we've got to get this one done if there's a three there So one there, that one has to be a two. And if that one's a two, one, two, that one's gotta be three. That one. Well, could that one there be like a three? Well, I can't, because it can only be one, two, or three. So that's gotta be three. And if that one's three, I could try and make that one four, but I can't make that one five. So that one's got to be four, and that one's got to be five. And if that's the case, that one's one. Okay. Same pendants with before. It's just the this grid in here which is causing trouble. Going down the columns again. One, two. There's fours available on both of these. I think the four needs to be down here. 
And if that's the case, the one comes over here. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five. Where's the one here then? One, two. Man, this, the five makes it a lot harder on the eyes to figure out them all. What's wrong here? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, there needs to be a five in here, which needs to be this one. And if there's a five here, which means this one has got to be the three, which means this one. Oh, that one's be five. Okay, so we figured it out. My goodness. I must have got really confused. Now, how far do we want to jump ahead? We've got six by six. My goodness, these are going to get huge. Oh, but if they're locked in all those numbers, it makes it a little bit easier. What I want to do though is I want to jump back because there was a little four by four here, but I'm worried that's going to be quite a difficult one. All right, these look quite simple if they're all, well, are they? If that one, that has to be a four because the one's really low. And that one has to be a three then. That one has to be a three and that one has to be a four. If there's two locks here, so that has to be that and that has to be that. Uh, that's right, isn't it? One, two, three, four. Yeah. Uh, if three and four are knocked out, that has to be a two and that has to be a one. If three and four are knocked out, that has to be one. That means that has to be a two. And then that has to be a four. Well, that was easy. My goodness, give me some more of the simple ones. A level two reveal. Maybe we should jump into level two and have a quick check out of this. This is interesting. I, I like the, the, it's logical. Like, I, I don't really have to guess. I just have to sit down and think through it. And that's what I kind of like about this. I just take my time and I can enjoy it. And the music's quite relaxing. Uh, level two, I have no reds, which is brutal. But looking even at this bottom row, that has to be a three because there's no other threes on that line. Again, there are no threes on that line. Again, there's no three. Oh, no. Well, there's no threes on that line, which means this one has to be a four. Because a three, is, or a three has to be on this line. And this is the only on. Yeah, well, if this, is, if this has to be the only three, then this one has to be the only two. Which means this one has to be the only one, and this one has to be the only four. Then it's just a, one, of, one of figuring those two out. Like, all these could just be constantly switched. If this is the only three, and that's the only two. So these could go either way around. Now it looks like... Oh, wow, there's a, there's, they're just all ones. Okay, let's try and figure this one out. There's threes and fours. Okay, I could have one, two... Which means that one... So I've got... One, two, that has to be a four. That's the only four available. Okay, so that would have to be a one on that column, which means one, two, three, four. So that, which one here has to be the two? This one, that one. Hey, cool. I'm getting better at it. Very good. I, I'm thinking it through. I, I'm figuring it out. This is quite a cool game. It's simple, but it's, it's fun. Check it out for yourself. It's on Steam currently. It's very, very cheap. Uh, it seems like each set has eight levels. And if there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight levels, that makes 60... I times eight 64, isn't it? My goodness, math just went out the window. This is cool. It's like Sudoku, but I'm enjoying the... having like a fixed set of numbers. It adds a new element of being able to figure out. Before, like in the example you just saw, I, could, I said, like, there's only one four available in this column. That has to be the position. And I kind of like that compared to Sudoku, where I'm like, oh, I gotta, I don't know where the four could go. Like, there's so many different possibilities. But this, this brings it down a bit. It tightens the possibilities, which I think makes it a bit more enjoyable for me, uh, while still being quite a hard puzzle. Like, that first one took a while to get through. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this quick little video. And I hope you stick around for many other videos as well. We'll see you next time.